Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making the Lovey Farmhouse Gnome. Oh, he's so cute. If you'd like to make him, just boop, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now we can sew or use a hot glue gun for this six inch pile of goodness. He is part of the Icelandic lovey pattern. You can get that down below and there's so much included in this pattern. Great for a beginner. I'm going to be using Minky, this gorgeous navy fur and a blue buffalo check. I'm also going to be using weight, polyfill, and as I mentioned, you can use a hot glue gun or a sewing machine. I'm just going to follow the pattern pieces to cut out the base, the body, and the hat. And then because I am using a cotton flannel, I am going to hem the bottom here up by one quarter of an inch. You can always glue this, um, you know, like anything you'd want, you could add some trim, but I wanted to sew it with an exposed stitching so that it looks a little bit more like a farmhouse. You know, I just think exposed stitching is very farmhouse style. So I'm just going to go ahead all the way on this bottom with this cool little, it's a very cool design when you get this guy going. Um, there's a lot of movement in the back, which makes him perfect perfect for a tear tray because he's got a lot of visual interest in the front and the back. All right, so here I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine. If you are new to sewing, go slow and just go in a straight line. All right, there we go. Um, when it's time to do the back, you're just going to put right sides together, start and reverse your stitches at both the beginning and the end, and then flip it right side out and set it aside. So I have shared this pattern before, but look, on the back here, I want you to see, it's not perfectly lined up. Don't fret about that kind of stuff, okay? It's, it's not a big deal. No one ever notices but you. All right, so here I am making the body and the base, and this is the dart system that gives it that little va-va-va-voom. <laughs> Which is probably not appropriate to say but it's really cool it gives it a lot of visual interest this dart system so once you have those darts either sewn or glued you can just turn the entire body right side out and now it's time to fill so we're going to use a dowel or a paintbrush or anything you have to poke out the very tips and then you're going to fill it halfway up the body with weight i'm using poly beads which are non-odor and non-moisture absorbing i do recommend you not to use food products and then we're just going to stuff the rest of it up very generously with polyfill you can use dollar tree pillows big box store pillows or polyfill from the craft store once you have that all nice and plump, we're going to either sew or glue that hole up in the body. I'm going to tie a knot in a double threaded or double thread needle and I'm going to use a ladder stitch to sew up the entire back, which I'm not going to make you watch because you know. I'm using a white thread so you can see what I'm doing, but you will use a coordinating color for the beard is in this gorgeous this is just that craft fur and like the kids section of joanne's fabrics but i'm telling you it's a gorgeous 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 blue but the problem is look it's not the best quality fur so before you move on i highly recommend you go grab a lint roller which is the staple in my craft room go ahead and clean up your space and go ahead and just like you know give that fur a lint roll too once you have that done you're just gonna affix the beard to the body and you can sew it on or glue it on but i do recommend you making sure everything's in place before you attach all of the glue once you have it in place, you're going to slip on the hat and measure where you want your nose. So I wanted to have mine split just below the top of the fur, so I'm going to part the fur, add a generous portion of hot glue to the fabric backing, and then give an intense nose boop <laughs> with this polymer clay nose. You can use a pom-pom, a wood round, anything you'd like. Next up, I'm going to slip that hat on. Now, because there's so much interest in this gnome, you can actually not attach the hat. This is perfect for an interchangeable hat gnome, but I am going to make it permanent. So I'm going to add a scrunch on the nose, and then I'm also going to affix down the uh, side of the hat or both sides of the hat and the very back of the hat. But again, if you want an interchangeable gnome, this is a perfect pattern for that because the entire body is encapsulated the hat and then look give him a little squisher and he's all ready for the big show huh 
Isn't he super cute? Let me know what you would name him down below. Let me know what you think of this guy down below. As always, you can get the patterns in the pinned comment and the description box. Thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.